Diego, can you just take us through that uh, first goal and how you and Brody got it started? Yeah, I think it was just good chemistry. I think, you know, me and Brody played on the left a lot last year, and I think it was just kind of knowing that, you know, we like to combine and just good chemistry. So a nice little kind of one-two thing, and then I took a good touch in the middle, and then, you know, from there it was a counter. So I think it, it was good. And then on the on your goal, the second goal, uh, what you saw from Vera, from Vera as he went marauding 60 yards forward. Yeah, I think, you know, with Vera, he does that often, and he, he it looks like he's just jogging through, right? And I think... I saw him, you know, that gap that I knew he was going to take. He pushed the ball through there, and then I knew it was just going to be, you know, a counter again. So I think just 1v2, 2v1 with that center back, and then he played me through, and then, yeah. There's nothing wrong with the 2-0 win, but did you feel like maybe the team left uh, another goal or two out there? Not just one or two. I think there could have been, you know, five or six goals, and I think it's a good problem to have, right? We dominate and we win a game 2-0, but... It, we're not happy with our, you know, final third action. So I think it's a good problem to have and something we can we can tweak. Yeah. What do you want to work on and tweak uh, before Colorado's here on the weekend? Scoring more goals. I think uh, being more clinical in the final third. I think our defense was solid. I think we need uh, maybe some, you know, l little errors on the counter, make sure that we, we fix that up. But um, other than that, we just need to score more goals. I think the more goals we score, the safer we are. So. Yeah. There, aren't, there aren't a lot of six foot five uh, right backs running around in Major League Soccer. How do you think uh, Philip handled uh, having to move out there? No, nah, it was great. I think you know it's probably his first time playing out there, and I think he's he did well. And I think you know for his first time, he's gonna hopefully continue to get better and you know have that there. Diego, congrats on the win. Yeah. Um, the beginning of the season just seemed a little off for you to, to a slow start. The past month, you seem to have a credible presence and involvement. What do you attribute to the great run of form lately that you've had? Yeah, I think it's been uh, a lot with my, you know, being in the right mental state. I think I, I was going through some things, still am, but I think I've found solutions to things. Uh, therapy, I think I'm very open to that. Uh, and uh, I've started, yeah, and I think just being more, you know, aware of your emotions and kind of how to handle them has helped me, you know, tremendously. And it's not a, it's not a surprise because, like you said, the past month is what I've started and what I've tried to focus on, and things are happening. So, uh, we're gonna go to Zoom, Justin. If you want to go ahead. Thank you so much, uh, Diego. Thank you for your time. I just spoke to Pablo, and he quotes the best performance of the season from you. Just wondering, do you feel the same way? Um, and what do you feel was clicking for you tonight to have such a big performance? Yeah, I would say it's it was my best performance. And uh, like I said, I think it's just w one game better at a time. And I think I'm finding my stride and continue to get better and better. Okay. Uh, it seems like you guys have really started to mesh with, uh, with Matt Crooks there uh, in the attacking midfield. What, what have you uh, been able to maybe uh, gain with him chemistry-wise and what's working with that kind of attacking group? We all want the ball. We all want success for each other. We like to combine. We like to keep the ball. Um, and all of us having that and all of us knowing that if I'm not going to score, I'm going to get an assist today, it's a great thing to have with us four up top, and, and we're going to continue to do that. And knowing that, you know, Chicho doesn't, Chicho doesn't get on the on the score sheet today, but he, he is a big factor of the two other goals. And I think it's just everyone just got to be unselfish and, you know, that's what's going to make us a, a top level team is all of us being, you know, there for each other and giving each other the best chances. And, uh, speaking of that, in, just in your couple of years here, it seems like the team has kind of gone from more of an underdog mindset to now being top of the conference. What do you feel like has, has mostly contributed to that um, improvement over a long period of time that's resulted in where you guys are now? I think we're still underdogs. I think that's not going to change from the the staff to the players I think that's always going to be us it's in our DNA and that's what's gotten us here and I think you know the quality starting to show and and I think that's what's you know the defensive work is what's letting our quality show so I think it's a it's always going to be the same mentality for us and we don't really care what other people think or where we are in the in the in the league I think it's the same thing every single time building off that a little bit Diego um, Pablo mentioned some stuff after Saturday's draw that probably felt a little bit more like a loss in LA you said you guys weren't very happy about it and yeah. that kind of thing can you kind of rewind with us and just sort of go over your guys mindset change I guess from giving up that late goal to 
probably feel like you dropped two points to coming into today at home and, and looking as refreshed as you guys did, I guess? Just another day. I think after that, we get home off that flight, it's over. And I think be upset for a couple hours and then, you know, what's it going to do for us, right? You know, dwelling on the past. So I think it's it's the strength of our team and the mentality that we have that we got home and back to work for this next game. And we're going to come at this game with, with three more points up to grab. And I think that's continue. And, you know, after tonight we get home, we relax, and now it's all focused for Saturday. So I think it's just how we are. Just about to ask that follow up. Is is that the same mindset that you've taken? Exactly the same. Yep. Diego felicidades por el partido. Uh, ¿Qué ha qué ha pasado diferente este año en comparado al año pasado en cuanto a tu juego y la forma de jugar del equipo? I think it's been the same. I think the team the teams performed well always, and I think. There's been ups and downs, but I think uh, in my in my game, I think it's just about being in the right mental state. If I'm ha not having fun, if I'm stressing out, if I'm not enjoying it while I'm there, then my game's going to be off. And I think it's for me just being happy and making sure that I'm working hard for my team and, and things will come my way. Uh, the question is, there's a big difference between your play this year and last year. So like, what's made the biggest difference? Like, What have you been doing different? You te, div te divertiste hoy? Yeah, a lot. I think I had a lot of fun, and you know that leads to having good performance, right? Uh, did you have fun today? Was the question? Anyone else in Spanish? Thanks, Diego. Thanks yeah. Thank you. Yeah.